Inventors of the Growing Nation by Terry Hillen. Imagine that in one day, our country doubled in size. That's what happened to the United States in 1803. President Thomas Jefferson asked France to sell the United States a vast area of land. Overnight, America added more than 1,828,000 square miles of land west of the Mississippi River. This is known as the Louisiana Purchase. Jefferson wanted to know the fastest way across the new land. At the time, there were no maps of the whole country. Jefferson asked Meriwether Lewis to explore the area. Lewis was an army captain whom Jefferson trusted. Lewis chose another soldier, William Clark, to help him lead the party. To get ready, they first had a large boat built. The boat took the men down the Ohio River. Then they built a base camp near St. Louis, Missouri. They spent the winter of 1803 there. Finally, on May 14, 1804, Lewis and Clark began their famous journey into the new territory. Fifty men went with them. They traveled for over 18 months. Finally, the group made it to the Pacific Ocean. On November 7, 1805, Clark wrote, Ocean in view, oh the joy. The group spent a long, cold winter near the ocean. Then they began the trip back home in March 1806. Lewis and Clark arrived in St. Louis in September 1806. They were greeted with a big party. A century later, in 1804, the World's Fair was held in Lewis in St. Louis. People honored Lewis and Clark's journey at the fair.